Radiation levels in technical literature are often described as low, medium, and high. These abstract relative references combined with three different radiation scales are confusing to the expert and bewildering to the novice. We simplified things with a fourth scale based on something we thought would make sense to our audience. In our scale, the basic unit of radiation is the amount of radiation a human resident of the planet absorbs in a year. This simple scale lets us talk in common sense terms about not enough, just right, and too much. A level of one is the amount of radiation a person absorbs in a year. This amount has been about the same throughout man's history on the planet. In common sense terms, if these levels were harmful beyond our adaptive capability, then we wouldn't have survived as a species. In my neighborhood, these numbers equate to about 20 microrads an hour, 480 microrads in a day, and 175 millirads in a year. There are three different flavors of radiation. The snail of the radiation family is called an alpha particle. It's a helium atom. Alpha particles don't do much to people or animals because they just bounce off. Beta particles are like raindrops. They hit and with luck, soak in. Later, we'll share some new ideas about how we think beta particles contribute to immunity, pathogen suppression, and antioxidant capacity in living systems. Gamma, or high energy radiation, penetrates deeply and knocks electrons off molecules. It drives an ageful game of molecular musical chairs, daisy chain electron theft, and cellular mayhem, referred to by the biologically articulate as free radical stress. Within reason, our bodies cope with and even use these gamma ding events. At some level, as we'll discuss later, after we introduce a new interpretation of Petkow's research, we'll propose why some oxidative gamma bad boys make good friends in a scrape. In the meantime, you'll need to know that everything you've ever heard about radiation refers to high power penetrating gamma radiation and its ability to scramble molecules. Gamma ionization is like throwing a baseball through a glass collection. If it doesn't hit anything, all's well. But when it hits something, there's no telling how much will break. When radiation happens faster than the body can repair itself, damage accumulates. With brief techniques like x-rays, CAT scans, and the like, the damage stops fast with about as much gamma radiation as the body usually gets in one to four years. Short duration exposure to moderate amounts give time to repair the damage, so these procedures are seldom hurtful and sometimes beneficial. Radiation therapy designed to damage catalase deficient cells uses blasts which add up to about 40,000 years of gamma radiation. The fact that it takes this much and that the surrounding cells usually survive, albeit with damage, suggests that our bodies are pretty well adaptable to reasonable radiation levels. This is where the pet cow effect comes in.